Hello everyone. Breaking news. Chinese soccer legend endorses NIO. Exciting updates on NIO Chinese New Year plans, including battery upgrades and pricing changes. Stay tuned for more. David Beck from China has endorsed NIO. This news is quite remarkable, my friends. Now, on to some other updates. This is quite interesting because the Chinese New Year is approaching, and many people will be taking their cars out on the highways, which will be free for a few days. NIO has actually made some changes for the Chinese New Year. Firstly, they are focusing on a battery upgrade for one month. For a temporary battery upgrade, you can rent a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack for one month at 880 RMB. Essentially, you'll get an extra 30 to 40 percent range. After that one month, you can return it, and the cost is 880 RMB. However, if you order and rent the battery now, you might receive NIO points and some other freebies. They are putting quite an emphasis on this. Another thing they are doing is changing the price for daily battery upgrades because during the Chinese New Year, everyone will be temporarily upgrading their batteries. And this will significantly boost the demand for the long-range battery pack, for which NIO has stated that due to limited resources, they have increased the price. It's now 88 RMB per day instead of 50 RMB per day. This is only for Chinese New Year for Chinese customers. After that, it will return to the normal price, which is 50 RMB per day. Now, they haven't clarified whether highway swapping will be free this year or not because last year, highway swapping was entirely free, and that was a significant reason for choosing NIO. However, it's quite costly for NIO. Last year, electricity was entirely free, and the service fee was also free. Basically, you could go anywhere entirely free of charge. But during the national holiday in October, NIO decided that only the swapping fee would be free. People would have to pay for the electricity, understand? And by the way, this will only affect those who don't have free swaps or unlimited free swaps, okay? Most people have six free swaps per month. Some people. But for those who have used their six free swaps, and also for those who do not have free swaps, it is really affecting them. And it seems like this year nothing will be free. Okay? This absolutely doesn't make any sense. Certainly, offering it for free will cost a lot of money. So it seems that if you want to swap on the highway, you will have to pay normal charges. You will have to pay for highways, swapping fees, and additional electricity fees, the whole story. And this is a very good thing. In the past years, they really had to promote battery swapping. And they had to tell people that with NIO, you can reach your destination quickly by swapping batteries, just like with a petrol car. But now it doesn't make sense because NIO really wants to polish its balance sheet, make profits, and genuinely improve things. So this will be a significant saving. And I remember that a NIO manager mentioned this during the past year. During the Chinese New Year, they were spending about 5 million RMB every day, just for free swaps. 5 million RMB every day, just for providing free swaps. This doesn't include rent. This was just the cost for providing free swaps. This was a significant financial matter. I believe NIO will not want to burn through such a large amount of money now. They need to make a profit, and I think it's better for everyone to make things profitable. But the real interesting thing is this year, as always during every Chinese New Year and major holidays, you will see long lineups at highway charging stations. It's a site that will delight many NIO owners again, and it will also bring some publicity. I remember last year, a news story went viral where a friend was in a gas car and it took him eight hours to get to his village, which was the normal time. Another friend was in a NIO and it took him 18 hours. This was because they had to wait in line. The wait time was three hours, and because they had to stand physically in line, they weren't allowed to use the bathroom. If someone left, their spot was at risk, and there were disputes because people wanted to go home. There were arguments in the line over charging cables, and many unpleasant things were said. EV charging had become a hassle. It took them so much time to get home. But with NIO, even though it's comparable to gas cars in terms of time, Sometimes gas cars also had to wait in line at gas stations, 
and some gas stations had lines that were up to an hour long. Now, NIO swap stations are also free from lineups. In other words, there were also lineups because battery swaps were free. However, from an efficiency perspective, time spent on charging will always be less. So it is hoped that after Chinese New Year, there will be an increase in interest in battery swaps. More people will likely turn towards battery swaps. Last year, when the news came on national television that the journey for NIO EV takes 18 hours, it was censored. I mean, charging and loading activities were visible in the background. There were better swap stations, but they were unclear, not clearly visible. NIO swap stations were unclear. So it is hoped that this year it will be seen that national television and the government will support NIO more and prefer them because they represent the progress of China technology. It is hoped that they can show how beneficial an easy battery swap is. If this happens, it will be a big deal. People will know how important battery swap is. If you remember, NIO had implemented speaker advertising at its swap stations. So let's talk about what this swap station is. And this is going to be amazing because people stand in line, waiting for charging, and they just wait. They want to, but they can't go. They are outside in the cold. And during this time, NIO will be swapping, and the speaker will say, Hey, this is a three-minute thing. You don't even have to get out of the car. It's a self-automated line. So this will make many EV owners very jealous, and it will definitely be announced on the loudspeaker. So yes, tell them that those fighting for charging cables, yes, this is really a small thing that can be avoided by choosing NIO. So this will be something worth watching. Now, this soccer player. He is a very famous soccer player in China who played from 1996 until 2022, representing China in the World Cup, also playing internationally for Cardiff City. After retiring in 2022, he worked as an assistant coach and head coach and managed various soccer teams. Recently, he took delivery of the NIO ES8, and it was a big event. Yes, this was in the news. The joy was evident on their faces as he arranged for a car. NIO workers were thrilled about it. He himself was quite content with the car. Indeed, whenever a movie star or a famous personality opts for a NIO vehicle, it creates a buzz, so it's pretty cool. Officially endorsing NIO, this individual stands out from other celebrities. There's no debate about his name, and he is a highly liked person. He makes appearances in some movies does side acting, and is a very compassionate and good-hearted individual. When someone asks him about the need for training, coaching, acting, and staying busy, his response, of course, is accompanied by his NIO ES8. This is what helps him maintain his intensity and aura. In my opinion, it's excellent marketing for the ES8. It truly is an outstanding car. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.